course not, Adrian. Well, what's wrong? It's Scott. My Iceland's disappeared. And it's your fault he's run away. Yours and Sable's. I don't know what you mean. If, if your son's missing, we should call the police. It's not a police matter. It's a Colby matter. And, and I've got to find his father or his mother. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Oh, it makes sense to Monica. She's destroyed my marriage, and now, because of her, my son is out there in the streets somewhere, alone and frightened. You're talking about my daughter. Oh, forgive me. Did your daughter walk on water? Or don't you know about her miraculous conception? You're pretty upset. Frankie, why don't you pour Mrs. Cassidy some coffee? Monica is the one who should be out looking for Scott. He's her son. What did you say? You heard me? I adopted Scott, but Monica gave birth to him. They need uh, photos of Scott, description of his clothes, anything you can think of that might help it. Including the truth about my husband and your daughter? <sighs> I tried to warn you, but you wouldn't listen. I'll take care. I'll come with you, Mrs. Cassidy. Adrian, what are you doing here? Looking for my husband and Scott. Scott? He ran away. He ran away because of you and you. Oh, my God. When? How long has he been missing? Jason? Since early this evening, apparently. The police are already on their way to your hotel. They want you to meet them there. If anything happens to him... Nothing will happen to him. Now, please, stop making things worse. I'll take you home. Thanks for your help. Adrian, can't you just leave us alone? Mm -hmm. 